This is Dustin Gow back with another video. I thought I highlight this. Um, in a day and age when uh, you can be anything you want, and and when uh, you can have gay gay evil marriage, uh, why can't handicapped people get married without having serious? Without losing their SSI or uh, SSI or um, SSI and Medicaid benefits. So first of all, in order to have SSI as a handicap, your disability has to has to um, have them before the age of 20, 22. And you can either have to have a parent um, that was not able to uh, give enough income. So, and if you are handicapped like myself and are dependent on this, when they marry, they don't just lose their their monthly uh, check or direct deposit, let's say, they also lose Medicaid. Which for people like me that are handicapped, it's it's not right. Um, as I can lose their stipend, and they get if they wish, if they marry a person with an ordinary or higher income level of assets, because that's like as I say, counts thousands of income and assets. If two SSI, now the thing is, if two SS, SSI or something marry, both individuals stay, if both individuals face a twenty-five percent reduction in benefits and assets cap so in other words when people that are on these programs and need it but if they want to marry somebody, they face losing all of that. And they need when, when, when homosexuals can get married, you got people that can be trans, transgenders. In a day when you can be whatever you want, why can't someone like me get married without adding penalties? Why? This is, an ish, this is something that should be major in politics. This is another reason why I don't like politics because they don't talk about the the biggest minority in the entire on earth, which is handicapped people. They don't. Um, on January 13th, uh, 2022, a representative, I'm going to completely, uh, lodge this pronunciation, Jimmy Panetta introduced a bill which, if passed, would change the current law to allow DSA rights that they go freely and marry. Without losing the benefits, as recently in California legislature, uh, I don't know who, I don't know who SJR8 is. Um, so, 
Yeah, and this is really dear to me because I am physically handicapped and relying on this. I'm not in any position to marry anyone right now, but if I wanted to, I couldn't put the current law the way it is. And I'm not the only one who are forced to choose their health over over marriage. Legally anyway. I do believe you can have a ceremony and the ring that you cannot legally buy do anything to legally bind yourself to that person. Anyway, this is a quick video. Uh, just wanted to point this out there. Get this out. Um, for those of you that have watched me, um, this is something that actually really does it's really important to me and other people like myself. Um, so I just wanted to get this out there. In a day and age, in 2022, we still don't have much equality for people that are handicapped. Why? This has been Dustin Gower. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. I'm out.